What's up guys, welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit. This is your host, Zach, and today's subreddit is r slash I don't work your lady. This story's called, Lady runs over my foot because I wouldn't fetch motor oil for her. Here's the cast, me, angry lady, confused worker, my hero. Let me start by saying, I get mistaken for working at Walmarts a lot because of the lanyard I wear. I keep my keys on a lanyard and I usually wear it around my neck because it's easier to grab it and go when I need to get my car going again. And I guess because it's blue, a lot of people think it's for an employee tag. Usually it's someone older just asking where something is, or if I can get something down from the shelf for them. And usually I'll point them in the right direction. That's or someone realizes the mistake and apologizes. It's fun to hear from a manager at Walmart that I was a very helpful young lady because I helped get a set of dishes off of the third shelf for a lady with back pains. <laughs> this woman was much different. I had just gotten off of work, so I was wearing a black shirt with my company logo on it and a pair of black jeans and black shoes. I had my purse sitting on my lap and my lanyard across my neck. I was waiting to pick up a pile of Christmas gifts and was exhausted from work, so I was pretty much dozing in this chair they had in their pickup area. This is usually where I get spotted. That was when I heard it. Wake up, lazy girl! This sharp, angry voice. And I opened my eyes to see a woman who, if I hadn't heard her speak, would have thought she was a sweet old grandma. She had on this white and green striped shirt, a pair of jeans, and a lot of necklaces, with her gray hair pulled back in a ponytail with cute little bangs. And she had three of those cheap little necklaces that you find at kids' birthday parties around her neck. What? I was about half awake. You need to help me now. Get off your lazy ass and help me. What are you talking about? She paid my question. No mind. Go and get me motor oil. What? No, go get it yourself. Angry lady, furious. My son said that our car needs oil and I'm not going all the way across the store for it. Do your job and go get it. The auto center was pretty far away, but the motor carts, from what I've seen, are pretty fast, and it's not like she had to walk. 1. I don't work here, don't have to listen to you. 2. The employees here aren't dogs, they won't go fetch for you. Angry lady now shouting, You don't get to talk to me like that! Go and get my oil, then I want to speak to your manager! I don't work here! I remembered the lanyard and took it off to show her it only had my keys, and that it had my local college's name on it since I got it at a job fair at school. This isn't from the store! Angry lady refusing to look at my lanyard. No! That is bull crap! Do as you're told or I will drag you to your manager myself! She grabbed my arm and tried to roll along with me, but I didn't want to deal with this, so I ran. I pulled my arm away and, with what little energy I had for my mini nap, took off running. She tried to follow me, but I was able to weave my way through a few of the clothes racks and hid from her as she shouted at me. I roamed the store a bit, looking for junk I probably didn't need, but could use, mostly avoiding her. Even made my way to the auto center and picked up a tire pressure gauge, since mine had broken. <laughs> I found myself in the crafts aisle and had at this point stuck my earbuds in because there was a screaming kid in the area. I'm the oldest of six and I work in a restaurant as well as babysat. You can only take so much angry child. This also meant that I couldn't hear anything. So I'm staring at some paints when I see her out of the corner of my eye, or at least her cart. She's really close to me and before I can step away, she ran over my freaking foot. I don't know if any of you have ever had your foot run over by a motor cart, but it freaking hurts. It's not a very heavy piece of machinery, apparently about 25 pounds according to Google, but it hurts when that weight is on your bony as hell foot especially with the 120 pounds this woman was adding to it, and the fact that I wasn't ready for this. So, I screamed. I was in shock, and it felt like she had shattered my foot, especially when her back wheels went over it again, and I screamed again. I had to sit down on one of the shelves and rip my shoe off, trying to alleviate some of the pain, while the angry lady was yelling at me. That'll teach you to disrespect a customer, you little bench. Now go get my motor Royal. For the last freaking time. I don't work here! 
And you'll be lucky if I don't press charges on you! Finally, an actual employee, confused worker, came jogging around the corner, wearing a vest that had the logo on the corner and his name tag clipped to his chest. He looked entirely confused, which made sense. There was a crying 19-year-old taking off her shoe while a woman sat in a motor cart screaming at her. Are you okay, ma'am? He came over to me first, seeing as I had pulled off my sock. My foot was swelling and there was a little blood because my toenail had dug in my foot and cut it. I need your manager! She should be fired! Confused worker looked to me, uh, confused. Me trying to catch my breath, when I start crying, I have the worst time stopping. <laughs> she, 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 uh, red. Angry lady starts shouting again. She wouldn't get me my motor oil! Get me your manager! The worker looked like he didn't know what to do. He had one person sobbing and sounding like she was choking. I do a weird gasping thing when I'm trying to catch my breath. It's hard to explain. While another was screaming at him. That was when she came. My hero. The mother of the screaming child from before who had apparently been screaming because he fell down. Don't believe that for a second, mostly since I heard, I want it, but I digress. She looked angry for me. What the hell is the matter with you? She was pointing at angry lady. Why the hell would you run over some random girl's foot? Angry lady pissed off. She's an employee. She needs to learn to not ignore customers. She doesn't have a name tag, you idiot. She's wearing a uniform for another company. What the hell made you think she worked here? She is wearing a name tag. Look! She reached over and yanked my lanyard off my neck, holding it out to my hero like she won or something. See? My hero snatching the lanyard and showing it to her. Does that say Walmart to you? Angry lady finally got a good look and realized that there were only keys. And the letters on the lanyard had the initials of the college on it. And she turned white. My hero turned to confused worker. Get your manager and a first aid kit. Now! Confused worker ran off, looking a little relieved to finally have a direction to run into. And my hero began to do the mom thing, where she examined my foot and talked to me in a nicer voice. Angry lady tried to scoot her way out of the store, but was blocked by the greeter. She was trying to take the motor cart, which is a big no-no. The manager came and asked if I wanted the police to get involved, or if I wanted an ambulance. I said no, I just wanted to get my things, an ice pack, and go. They let me sit in that comfy chair in the pickup waiting area and gave me a 50% discount on my pickup stuff, letting me take the stuff I had picked up when walking around for free. I waited until the swelling in my foot had gone down and watched the crap storm as angry lady tried to convince the manager that I was his inordinate employee and that I needed to be fired. He instead banned her from the store and told her if she came near his employees, she'd get the police called on her. My hero got her husband to take their kid home and come back for her, and she sat with me to make sure I was okay and could get home. It wasn't my driving foot, so I could drive okay, and I was able to limp my way to my car. My foot was a fun shade of black, purple, and a little blue for a little while, but my mom and stepdad, both in the medical field, don't think it's broken. It's been sore, but I probably won't end up taking it to a doctor. Best Christmas gift I ever got, though, was watching Angry Lady get her motor cart turned off and watch her go off, jumping around and stopping. Edit. People keep telling me I should have pressed charges. I get it. I probably should have, but I didn't need the stress of that on top of a lot of other problems I was and currently am still dealing with. She got banned. She can get arrested by someone else. Let it go. Also, as for going to the doctors, I have the mentality that if it's pain that simply doesn't go away and have my paramedic parents' opinion to it, then I go. But just because I've been dealing with soreness means nothing. I work on my feet constantly and probably need to give it time to rest and heal. That's it. Nothing's broken. I really love this story. This is a rare breed of I don't work here lady where it sounds 100% believable while also being, you know, out there and crazy and wacky with, you know, all these kooky Karens doing their kooky Karen things. You get what I mean? Good story. This story's called, I got fired from a job that I did not work. 
This happened to me a while ago, in my native Germany. I shop for the weekends, and anyone who knows that the German Wochenendenkauf means shopping like a demented doomsday prepper knows what I mean. So I was trying to shop for the weekend, and since the girlfriend kind of works retail, thus massive respect for retail workers out there, I get to be on the receiving end of all the crazy stories. In the same way you don't mess with a sysadmin because he makes all the computers run, you don't mess with the retail people people because they hand you food. I decided that it was time to shine as an adult and do all my shopping alone and without help. I wore kind of a piss yellow polo shirt because everyone has got to do their laundry at one time or another. I know, such adult, very wow. Now, I am over 6 feet 9 inches tall, if Google does not lie, and look the part. Blonde beard and blue eyes and all. But I have one weakness. One critical weakness. Helping little old ladies. Because I can go to the gym and lift till my arms give out, and I will receive a passable boost to my self-esteem. But when a little old lady asks, can you get this one kilo bag of flour? And then proceeds to make the big eyes and compare me to Superman and say that I look like they expected Hercules to look or some other stuff. Yeah, that puts a grin on my face that won't leave for a week. So I'm in the store helping the occasional Asian elderly lady out and doing my shopping when I hear ahem behind me over my headphones. Thinking nothing bad, I just turned my head to the left and to the right, shrugged and continued my shopping. What follows next is a yank on my in-ear headphones, so they fall out of my ears, and then a tirade of epic proportions from a peroxide blonde, one, wearing clothes that would look good on her daughter but look ridiculous on her, two, fake tanned, three, and excessive jewelry wearing, four, person with a Karen haircut, five, a nice five pointer. I just let her rant and rave while trying to actually figure out what she wants, and she lays into me. I am apparently dumb, lazy, shiftless, good for nothing, undereducated, and all those good words. She has tried to get my attention for the past 30 minutes. She saw me helping all those little old ladies, and she cleverly deduced I must have been a store employee. So normally, I am very reserved with public confrontations, because I have a certain size, and when I start yelling, it always looks bad. But I also work as a system admin, and while my patience with stupid users is higher than normal, when it snaps, it snaps. People's mail accounts get deleted and so forth, and then we have to wait five weeks for the backups to arrive, and sorry, your computer just broke, we got you the new Windows 95 machine to do your work on while we try to fix it. So I am thinking, well, she's probably had a bad day, her fake tan seeped into her brain, I know. Let's be good to the slow people, clear this up and be on my way. Water under the bridge, right? Except, then she poked me in the chest, her shrill yapping accentuating that I now needed to jump like her little slave. Poke, 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 poke. Sis admin from hell mode activated. I do not work in the store and I will not help you. Get a manager if you're that disabled. I naively thought that this was the end of it and put my headphones back in, but left one out as the constant stream of yapping disappeared. This alerted me to the Karen returning, this time with a manager in tow, a pimply-faced youngling without a beard that looked intensely uncomfortable while trying to get a word in. She demanded I get fired on the spot for being rude to her? I turned to the manager and quit on the spot going like, I would have at least expected him to care if one of his best employees was treated like that by a customer, that I was in half a mind to hand back the shirt right now on the floor and shop bare chested, and that since I no longer worked for him, I was now free to shop in the alcohol section during daytime, and I was intending to get good and drunk tonight. As an added bonus, I went down to Karen's eye level and added that if she decided to lay her hands on me again, and the store security did not immediately tase her or throw her out of the store, I would see this as an act of attack and would react appropriately doing the job for them. As a last thank you for all those paychecks, and because not any of the other abused workers here could lay a hand on her, and then I gave her my best, I am five minutes away from turning into a berserker. You feel lucky, bimbo. Smile. 
Woo, there was screaming afterwards and accusations of being overly violent, but I just put my headphones in, turned around, and lumbered back to the liquor section. Ten minutes later, the manager is back, this time alone. I unplug my headphones and ask him what he wants. He says he is very sorry, but he has looked and he knows everyone, but apparently they don't have me on file as an employee, so was I actually sure I worked here? No, just thought instead of putting you in an awkward situation, I would do what was expected of me and say what everyone in earshot was thinking. End of the song and dance was, he accompanied me to the register and personally applied his manager Material discount to my Wachen and then Kauf. Let's just say I do intend to return to the store. First things first, to all my German peeps out there, sorry for butchering your pronunciation of your words. <laughs> Second, this guy was thoughtful. Pretty good story there. Um, you know, he tried hard to make it more convenient to those who weren't being entitled and jerk ish. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.